West Town is undergoing a revival of late. It's here that two artists bought an old brick warehouse. Now, it started out as an art project, soon became an experiment in how to live green in the heart of a big city. This home was once a 3,000 square foot warehouse. Most developers would have simply torn it down. But fortunately, it found some creative new owners, and today, it's a hotbed of green technology, including solar and wind turbines. Meet Jim Olinsky and Francis Whitehead. They both teach at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. On the main floor, there's a kitchen, living and dining area, which opens onto a central courtyard. Above this main living space is a mezzanine level with a bedroom and master bathroom. Directly above is a light-filled art studio for Jim. This leads onto a roof, which has a home office as well as a greenhouse. Francis has her own art studio on the other side of the courtyard. Hello, Manuel. Hi, Francis. Francis, pleased to meet you. Manuel, Jim. Jim, pleasure meeting you. Nice to meet you. Good looking place. It's got a little commercial industrial feel going on here. Well, the original building was a little orange box warehouse. It had to change the facade out because there wasn't a door here. There was just a truck door. Well, let's show you inside. Oh, this great wall. It's beautiful. Is that original? I guess. Of course, one of the greatest things you can do is to reuse an existing building. And this one had a bit of a slant. Oh my, we were able to he, stabilize it and use it. Make a start, you know. It allowed us to keep this wonderful old warehouse and bring it back into new service. This is a great character. In fact, they were able to preserve 90% of the building's original brick shell. Oh, look at this. It feels like you're outside. Whose star is that? Because the original building was okay, yeah. a lot like okay, no external windows, and so one of the big challenges here was to get light and air into the interior of the space. Before we even had the green idea, we had this idea about living, which had to do with having this courtyard in the middle for privacy, that everything would be organized around. And we intentionally wanted the, uh, the courtyard to be the same level as the floor here, so that this, this courtyard becomes an extension of the, of the living room. And that allows us to have a really very small uh, actual footprint of, of the living of, of space, but it feels much bigger. It does, and these doors open up, those doors open up, and those doors in the distance open as well. Yes. So you really do have a way of just expanding your entire main floor just by opening yes. a couple doors. Right. It's a great courtyard. Stunning. You collect water. Is it somewhere here in the ground? No. The two, two cisterns are in each corner of the courtyard. Oh. Rainwater harvesting is so important. We're trying yes. to hold as much of that uh, rainwater on site to keep it out of the sewer system. You might want to try harvesting rainwater yourself, as municipal water may contain traces of ammonia, fluoride, or chlorine. Rain that falls on the roof is collected in eaves troughs and runs through downspouts into holding tanks called cisterns. One inch of rain on a thousand square foot roof can yield up to 600 gallons of rainwater. This can then be used for watering your garden, laundry, and toilet flushing. Preserving this vital natural resource can protect rivers, lakes, and streams from runoff pollution and reduce your water bills. Back inside the living room, these butterfly shares were rescued from an alley by Francis and then recovered. And this unusual bench is a family heirloom. We have quite a few family pieces here in the house. Uh, my mother made this in 1946 out of a salvage log. When it came to the kitchen, we wanted a very functional kitchen. We did not want to look at the kitchen goods, so you notice everything is in a closed cabinet. Is this your dishwasher? Yes. Yes, that's an 18-inch dishwasher. You know, there are just two of us. Many people have a dishwasher, and they always complain that they run it when it's half empty. The stove here, top of the stove. Well, the wood stove is airtight, and it, it is a closed front, so that uh, it, it is efficient in that regard. Right. Yes. And because of the long run of the chimney, that also becomes a thermal uh, release. But, of course, the real heat is in the floor. You're radiant floor? This is a radiant flat floor. And is there straight concrete on the floor? Well, actually, there's a geothermal system under here. Because there is no basement, mm -hmm. we were able to pull up the slab. Uh, it was the first thing that we did, and drill for the 14 wells. Those 14 wells go 70 feet straight down the bedrock, where the temperature is around 50 degrees Fahrenheit. A 
liquid water or antifreeze is pumped through the wells. The liquid warms up and is brought back to a heat pump in the house and then used to heat the floors. On the next episode of Invite Mr. Wright, the king of comedy teams up with the queen of parody. Don't make me look like my mum. Gorgeous, darling, gorgeous. Look at that, my old queen now. Trust me, this is the invitation of a lifetime, yeah? Two people get the chance to win a trip. There's lots of candidates to be won as well. Plus, this is the best part. Come a bit closer, yeah? You get to meet me for a Well, I, I, I thought it was quite a good prize myself, but anyway want to know more details, then log on to the following website. Canon, delighting you always. Design and win your own Singapore trip. Watch Living City Singapore. Select up to five of the destinations featured in the series, and tell us why you want to visit these places. Entry gets a four day, three night Singapore trip and free passes to the site selected. For more details, log on to living-cities.com. Three small letters, one big change. TLC. TLC is. Are you going to color it? Multifunctional aspects of the house to save space. Oh, that was 
screams me. Now it's up to the mezzanine. Oh, it's a gorgeous stairs. Yeah, this is some of the reclaimed elm from the Chicago and city streets. We found this urban forest products place that takes trees from the streets and sanitation department, uh -huh. and they'll mill whatever you want. This is reclaimed wood. Yeah, elm. The same trees that would have otherwise gone to fire. Something special, just sentimental, and actually the Buddha also. Uh, my father was a Buddhist. This is the bedroom. The bedroom. This is nice. To wake up in the morning and to see this. All the bright sunlight coming in and to see your tree, your courtyard. The bedroom is another small space, but Francis and Jim have used every inch wisely. Okay. This is the differential between the old building and the new setback. It creates a two-foot space, which we capture. So you can use it as storage, you can store well, it's everything. Especially for bulky items like uh, comforters. There's more good use of space in the compact yeah, yeah. master bathroom. Directly above the bedroom is Jim's art studio. These are the fingerprints of the residents of an affordable housing community that I did an art project with. Blew them up, created stencils, and they use it as stencils and a stencil to their courtyard. Well, this is a huge studio. Lots of space in here. It's very adaptable and usable for different kinds of projects that I may be involved in. And what's the system over here? Well, this is uh, part of the wind turbine system. That's the inverter. Well, I would think Chicago being the windy city, there must be a lot of wind here you can harness. Well, actually not. We're only a two on the scale of five that they use for the continent uh, to judge uh, wind uh, availability. And the windiness of Chicago actually is a reference to the politics. I didn't know that. <laughs> See, I'm learning something. It's the higher than flows, really. It's the higher than flows, really. It's the higher than Can we see these wind turbines in action? Well, let's go outside and we'll take a look at it. This is great. More courtyard view. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. There's your wind turbine right there. Yes. Look at that. These vertical axes, multi-directional wind turbines, are designed for urban spaces and can work with a breeze of just four miles per hour. Across the courtyard is the office. Oh, look at this. It's quaint. Is this your office? This is an office, and of course it can be used by other people in another way, like it makes a great kids' room. Oh, it'll be a great kids' room, you imagine? The desk is a solid slab of maple from the same urban forester who did the elm floors. But the main thing to know about this room is that uh, the principal reason for its existence is so that this lean-to greenhouse has something to lean on. What kind of stuff do you grow here? Well, there's a wide variety of ornamentals and food herbs up here. Obviously some flowers, artichokes, basil. In the wintertime, it's still toasting here? In the winter, we actually cover the inside of the greenhouse with bubble wrap. You wet the glass, and the bubble wrap sticks with the water. Yeah. And uh, then when you want to take it down, you just peel it off. And it really adds tremendously to the thermal protection of the greenhouse. Well, that's great. So glass and bubble wrap and traps everything inside. It, it helps a lot. Idea. Are those solar panels? They are. Out on the roof, two banks of solar panels provide electricity and heat hot water. And you got lots of planters. Why don't you choose to go with clods versus actually planting the entire roof? The idea of just putting dirt directly on your roof, even with a membrane, frankly made us very nervous. I see. So when we found out that they were these terrific pans and they're made from... 80%, uh, I think now the company's gone to 100% um, post-consumer recycled plastic. And then if you have a problem with your roof, you just pick up the pan, move it, fix your roof. We really like the flexibility. I mean, this seems to make a lot of sense. Back downstairs is another workshop. This one belongs to Francis. A book-lined hallway that takes you from the studio back to the main living space. Well, here we are back from where we started, the main space. Yes, full circle. And the sunlight has obviously changed over the day since we had a chance to tour the house, and you can really see how sunlight does make this room change a lot. Well, thank you again for having me. It was a wonderful tour. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Emmanuel. Thank you so much. Having something that really suits your needs so there's no extra work, no extra maintenance, but is just sized right for your life and your use is, uh, we think, more of a luxury than having more than Wow, fun! Whose story is that? Hi, well, again, 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 again. Whose story is that? Yeah. Okay. Wow. 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 Okay. Wow
you. They say they reduced their operating costs by at least... They left this for you. 